Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today I'm gonna show you how to trigger Airtable automations with webhooks. Airtable is a great application for managing complex and dynamic databases. It integrates perfectly with automation platforms like Zapier or Make and includes some native automation capabilities of its own. With Airtable automations, you can add or update records in your databases, send emails, and connect to popular apps like Google Docs or Slack. Webhook triggers give you versatile control over when and how your automations run, and they let you trigger the same automation from totally different sources. With Airtable, it's really easy to set up, so let's get started. Start by creating an automation in the Airtable base that you'd like to use. In our example, we'll use this mock client directory in our tutorial space. Click on Automations, then click Create Automation. You'll see a list of triggers here, but to find webhooks, you'll need to click on See All. From this menu, select When Webhook Received. In the Properties panel on the right, you'll see a URL under Configuration. This is the URL that you'll send your webhook to. Copy this URL and save it for our next step. Now, you'll need to send a webhook from any app. In our example, we'll use this simple Zapier automation. Note that you'll need a premium Zapier account to use the webhook steps. Our Zap gets data from this Google Sheet trigger, which we'll send over to Airtable by adding a webhook step. To configure this step, we'll just need to paste the URL that we got from Airtable, choose a method, and provide some data. Our method will be post, since we're creating new data, We'll configure the data as a key value pair, so each key will be the title of the piece of data, while each value will be the data itself. In this case, we'll use dynamic data from our trigger to fill in each value. Once we've filled in all of our data, we'll test the automation. And over in Airtable, we can see that the test was successful. Finally, we'll add steps into our Airtable automation to perform actions with the data from the webhook. In our example, we'll create a new record with the data sent over. Click on Add Action, choose Create Record, select the table you want to use. And now we'll map each piece of data with the appropriate field. Click on the blue plus button, then choose webhook, then body, and then select the data you want to use. And then repeat that process for every field. Finally, we'll send over a Slack message to make sure we're notified of the new record being created. Most of this message will be static text, but we'll fill in some data from the webhook as well using the same process as before. We'll test our automation by clicking on Test Automation. And we can see a Slack notification pop up right away. We can also confirm that the record has been added in Airtable. Now you're all set to start building Airtable automations with webhooks. Triggering your automations with webhooks is a great way to build versatile workflows that you can launch from any data source. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more automation tips every week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below. And as always, don't forget, keep the flow.